there, Excellence, or oh, Audacious Royal. I'm glad you could tune into today's service and I welcome you in Jesus' name. Right before we kickstart the service, let us pray. In Jesus' name. Our dear Heavenly Father, here we are once again at your feet to fellowship with you. We thank you so much because we know that you've allowed us into your presence because you have bountiful blessings waiting for us. And we pray, O oh Lord, that these blessings will reach our families and this service will be fruitful and our hearts will be opened unto you. This and many more we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Have a fantastic service. The Lord told Noah there's gonna be a floody, floody Lord. Told Noah there's gonna be a floody, floody. Get those children out of the muddy, muddy children of the Lord. The Lord told Noah to build him an arky, arky Lord. Told Noah to build him an arky, arky. Built it. Barky children of the Lord The animals, the animals, they came in by twosies, twosies Animals, the animals, they came in by twosies, twosies Up the fence and kangaroosies, roosies, children Royal, I hope you actively participated during that praise session. Great. Now it's time for nuggets. And our topic for this week is valuable gifts you should give. Do you know that there are valuable gifts you can give? In this month's nuggets, you will be taught nine gifts you should cheerfully give. We have seen six in the past two weeks. This week, we shall look at the last three gifts you can give. The seventh gift you can give is the gift of teaching. Help those you love learn something new. Share your talent with them. Teach those who don't know what you know but please not in the exam hall. Priscilla and Aquila taught Apollos the word of God. Now, the eighth gift you can give is the gift of listening. Try not to interrupt when someone is speaking and also show interest in what they are saying. Moses listened to the advice of his father-in-law. And now the ninth gift you can give is the gift of letting others give. Appreciate the gifts you receive. That way you add to the happiness of those who gave you. 
Joseph made his father happy by appreciating his coat of many colors. Make sure you give these nine gifts this week. And remember, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7 says, Always give cheerfully. Enjoy the rest of the service. It's time for the word. I hope you're excited. Yes, it's time for the word. God's word is the truth. Now, have you tasted honey before? Honey is like sugar, but it is sweeter than sugar. It is also sweeter than ice cream. I know you like ice cream. <laughs> yes, if you have tasted it, I'm sure you'll agree with me that it is sweeter than sugar and ice cream. Some people use honey instead of sugar in their beverages because honey is also healthy and gives strength. What we want to talk about today is something that is sweet and gives strength like honey. Yes, that is our topic today. Sweet like honey. What do you think can be sweet as honey? Now listen to the story. Once in Bible days, King Sennacherib of Assyria surrounded Jerusalem to attack it. Standing with his soldiers outside the walls of Jerusalem, he began to shout abuses at God and King Hezekiah. King Sennacherib rained insults on Hezekiah and boasted that he was far more powerful and will defeat Hezekiah and destroy the city and make everyone in it his slaves and he would carry away all their treasures. Sennacherib told the children of God as they listened from within their wall that King Hezekiah was deceiving them, that God cannot save them from his hands. He even boasted and told them how he had captured other bigger cities, other bigger nations, and how it was going to be so easy peasy for him to capture them and their city too. The more he spoke, the more frightened and terrified they got. Some of them who had heard the cruel things he said ran off in fear to tell King Hezekiah that there was trouble. Was the enemy king right that King Hezekiah was a weakling? Was Hezekiah, the king of God's people, also afraid? What happened to the people of God and their king? Let's find out from the Bible. Don't go anywhere. Now our Bible reading is taken from the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 32 verses 6 to 8. I'll read. He appointed military officers over the people and assembled them before him in the square at the city gate. Then Hezekiah encouraged them by saying, Be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid or discouraged because of the king of Assyria or his mighty army. For there is a power far greater on our side. He may have a great army, but they are merely men. We have the Lord our God to help us and to fight our battles for us. Hezekiah's words greatly encouraged the people. 
Wow! So, was Hezekiah the king afraid too? What did he do? No, he wasn't. What did he do? King Hezekiah, the king of God's people, said to the people, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid because God is with us. Unlike the words of the enemy king, King Hezekiah's words were calm and kind and peaceful. By the time King Hezekiah finished speaking to his people, all the fear and terror that the words of the enemy king put in their hearts left them. They believed their king and their boldness and courage returned to them. King Hezekiah later prayed to God and God sent an angel. And guess what? Just one angel who killed all the soldiers of the enemy king. Just one angel. Amazing story, right? So tell me, did you find anything as sweet as honey? in today's story? Do you think the words that Sennacherib, the enemy king spoke, that were full of abuses, insults, were sweet as honey? No, definitely not. His words were rude and cruel and he put fear and terror in the hearts of the people that made them, and he made them feel very weak and insecure. But what about the words spoken by King Hezekiah? Do you think they were sweet like honey? Oh yes! Because like honey, King Hezekiah's kind and calm words sweeten the hearts of his people and made them glad and strong again. Now, let me ask you, how do you talk? Are you rude to people? Do you shout at people? Do you abuse and insult people like the enemy king in our story? Or do you speak kind words like King Hezekiah? Which do you do? Now God wants you to speak words that are kind, words that help, encourage, words that make people happy and give them strength. Listen to what God says about kind words from our memory verse. So our memory verse for today is taken from the book of Proverbs chapter 16 verse 24. I'll read the CEV translation. It says, kind words are like honey. They cheer you up and make you feel strong. Should I take that again? Proverbs chapter 16, verse 24. Contemporary English fashion says, Kind words are like honey. They cheer you up and make you feel strong. Yay! Now, what are the truths? What truths are in today's story? In today's teaching, what are we learning? Number one, God wants you to always have a kind word for those around you. Number two, the words you speak have power. A kind word can make someone happy and a hateful word can make someone sad. 
or cry or feel miserable. What are the lessons to take home today? What have we learned? What have you learned? What have I learned? Number one, speak kind words always. In school, at home, and everywhere you go. Number two, don't boast or speak words that make others afraid or sad or cry. That is actually bullying. Number three, don't listen to anyone who says bad things to you. Block your ears. <laughs> okay, so I home play for today. Number one, do you like it when someone shouts at you? Or speaks words that are not kind to you? Like, come here, sit down, get out. Do you like such words? I'm sure you don't. I don't too. Now, if you don't like someone to shout at you or speak unkind words to you, you also should not shout at anyone or speak unkind words to them. Number two, what kind of words will you speak from today? I pray you choose to speak kind words. Okay, we've come to the end of our teaching for today. Thank you for staying through till the end. I want you to remember that to be able to speak kind words always, you need the help of the Holy Spirit. And for you to have the Holy Spirit, you have to make Jesus your Lord and Savior. So if you want to do that, please say this prayer after me. Dear Lord Jesus, please come into my heart. Come and be my Lord and Savior. Please forgive my sins. Wash them away and write my name in your book of life. Thank you for dying for me. In Jesus' name, amen. Now you've said that prayer. Guess what? Angels in heaven are rejoicing. And of course, you now have the Holy Spirit of God to help you speak kind words always. Remember, for you to continue to grow in Christ, you have to keep reading your Bible and fellowshipping with your Heavenly Father every day. Before we go, are you watching us on YouTube? If you are, are you subscribed to our channel? If you are not, please, keep, please click the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. And remember to share this video with your friends and loved ones. Also remember to join our Telegram channel and please download the Royal Scroll from the link showing on your screen. And don't forget to be a part of the next Excellent Clan chat room by sending in questions on any topic we have taught or on any other topic you may have to the numbers showing on your screen via WhatsApp, SMS or Telegram. Have a beautiful week. Bye, Royal. Go and conquer your world for Jesus. Bye.